Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with a new video from Grade 7 Science. This is Unit 8, The Nature of the Earth. Our first subtopic is the structure of the Earth. The Earth we live on is the third planet from the Sun in the solar system. When compared to other planets of the solar system, the Earth looks more beautiful because there are mountains, rivers, oceans, flora, and forests on it. Because of these favorable environmental conditions, there is life on Earth. The other planets are lifeless because of non-existence of such environmental conditions. What is the nature of the inner part of this beautiful Earth? Geologists obtain information about the nature of the inner part of the Earth using different methods. In times of volcanic eruptions, different types of rocks are brought to the surface of the Earth. By examining them, geologists obtain information about the inner part of the Earth. Geologists receive more information about the nature of the inner part by examining earthquakes. During earthquakes, huge rocks movement within the Earth give rise to seismic waves. These waves reach the surface of the earth by running through the various layers of the earth. Seismometers are installed in different stations of the earth. Seismic waves are automatically marked by these seismometers. A seismometer is installed in Pallikale in Sri Lanka. The speed of seismic waves running through various layers of the earth are different. Information about internal layers of the earth can be obtained by measuring those speed. You can see three types of seismic waves in this picture. The information has helped to discover the inner part of the earth consist of several layers different from each other. In shown figure, the inner part of the earth can be divided into three layers. They are core, mantle and crust. First picture, this is the cross section of the earth. You can see the cross section, a hard boiled egg in second picture. It is replica of hard boiled egg cut across from top to bottom. The inner part of the earth can be compared to this replica of an egg. Egg yolk is to core, egg white is to mantle, egg shell is the crust. Information on the structure of the earth from its surface to other core are given below. First one, crust. The surface of the earth where life exists in the crust. When compared with the size of the earth, it is the thin layer. Mountains, plains, and oceans are found on the crust. Its thickness varies from place to place. All the bottom of the ocean is its thickness is about 5 kilometers. On land, its thickness is about 35 kilometers. The Earth's crust consists of rocks and soil. It's made up of basic elements like oxygen, silicon and aluminium. The Earth's crust provides most of elements necessary for our sustenance. Example, construction materials, metals, fossil fuel, Soil for agriculture. Next, mantle. Underneath the earth's crust lies the metal. Its thickness is about 2900 kilometers. It consists of rocks. These rocks contain oxygen, silicon, magnesium, and iron. The upper part consists of solid rocks. The lower part is made up of molten rocks due to the extreme hot environment.
Next one, Kho. The innermost part of the earth is Kho. Its thickness is about 3500 km. The upper part of the it is made up of molten iron and nickel metals. The temperature of area is between 4400 Celsius to 5000 Celsius. Due to the high pressure, the lower part of the core remains hard. Its temperature is more than about 500 Celsius, which has high as the temperature on the surface of the sun. Let's see the simple description of layers of the sun. I have given you a table with part of the earth, thickness, composition, elements, special information. First part is crust. Deep bottom to ocean, 5 km land, 35 km. Composition, rocks and soil. Elements present, oxygen, silicon, aluminium. It is a very thin layer. Next one, mantle. 2,900 kilometers, solid rocks and molten rocks, oxygen, silicon, magnesium are the elements present in there. Special information is, upper part consists of solid rocks. Due to high temperature, molten rocks are in the lower part. Next one, coal. 2,500 kilometers of thickness. Composition is, upper part consists of molten iron and nickel metals. Elements present, molten iron and nickel. Special information is, temperature is between 4,400 Celsius to 5,000 Celsius. Next, we are going to do a small activity. This is preparation of a replica of the internal structure of the earth. You can use these things. Try to make that X, X is a activity. It's in your textbook activity 8.1 just another practical preparation of three dimension replica of internal structure of the earth you will need clay in three colors a sharp knife what you have to do make a globe of the size of the lime using a clay on one color taking the half of the diameter of the previous globe Place a separate colored layer of the clay on the top of the globe. On the top of the second layer, paste a different color of the clay layer which is thin as much as possible. Use a sharp knife and cut the clay globe you made into two equal halves. The above cross section of the clay globe shows how inner layers are placed. Our next subtopic is tectonic plate and plate tectonics in this figure shows an earth map of the strong earthquake earthquake in 25th april 2015 in Kathmandu, nepal thousands of people died and thousands of people got injured while thousands of people were left homeless this earthquake occurred on the eurasian and indian plate margins Two destructive earthquakes have been recorded in year 1905 and 1934 in this area. We got this picture from news in internet. This is how the location of earthquake on 35, uh, 25th for, uh, April 2015. The surface layer of the earth is the crust. The crust is divided into sections called tectonic plates. These tectonic plates move relatively to each other. These are the tectonic plates of the earth. Tectonic plates move relatively to each other in three ways. In first picture, two plates move apart. As a result, a deep gulf could occur. In second picture, one plate moves upward by pressing down the other. An earthquake could occur in this instance. In third picture, two plates slide past each other. Earthquake could occur in this instance too. Tectonic plates move very slowly. It is 1 to 2 cm per year. Plate movements can be recognized on the plate margins. Most of the plate boundaries of margins are the bottom of the sea. 
When they occur on the land, they could be easily recognized. One such plate margin is located in North America. It is known as St. Andrew's Fold. It is visible in bird's eye view as aerial view as the fracture of 1000 km in length in the state of California. This is the picture for St. Andrew's Fold. The North American plate and the Pacific plate are situated on either side of this tectonic boundary. These two plates slide past each other for the about 20, uh, 2.5 cm per year. One of these tectonic boundary earthquakes occur frequently. Tectonic plates flows on the molten rocks of the lower mantle. Because of this movement on the molten rocks plates, tectonic also move. This is how tectonic plates slide. We are going to do a small activity at the last of the lesson demonstrating the activity of the plate tectonic. You will need a yellow orange with a thick skin and a knife. What you have to do, cut the orange with the skin into the different shapes. Keep the orange between two plums. Then slowly press orange while observing the movement of part of peels. Now you understand that earth crust where we live is not an immovable thing. Thank you. This is what we are going to learn the nature of the earth. Our next lesson is ninth one, light. Thank you.